Hey, hey, and welcome to Silent Hill 2. Now, I've actually been really excited to start playing this game, and this is going to be episode one. Huzzah! So we're going to let this cutscene play through, and then onward towards the game. dreams. I see that town. Silent Hill. You promised you'd take me there again someday. But you never did. Well, I'm alone there now. In our special place. name. It's ridiculous. Couldn't possibly be true. That's what I keep telling myself. A dead person can't write a letter. <laughs> wow, that's that's real smart, James. Died of course. Damn disease three years ago. But is she really dead? So then, really? why am I looking for her? Imagine them staring she out at really the lake alive. just like this, where it's still all foggy, shitty looking. Waiting There's no me. sun in Silent Hill. How could this whole place be their special place when the Silent Hill is just this cruddy, dilapidated old town? Maybe they were there before the coal fire, but eh, I still imagine them just <laughs> looking out through the fog. Anyway, let's get on with this. Oh yeah. <clears throat> Now for the long road towards Silent Hill. I don't know why they ended up doing that, but it's... I mean, there are a couple creepy parts because there's some strange noises in the woods and I can remember playing it when I first bought the game. And, um, and this was years ago, so I was quite a bit younger, but when I was first playing through the game and you hear all those creepy noises just running through the woods, just like that. But nothing really happens until like the first you know, I, I don't know, what is it, 10 minutes of the game, maybe? Maybe the first 15? Nothing too much happens, and I don't know. Maybe that's just kind of the slow, patient style of Japanese gameplay, but... I guess every time that noise happens, it kind of makes you stop. Yeah. And that is the first save point there, but I'm just going to bypass it. I'm just going to go through. <clears throat> as much of this as I can, as quickly as I can. And the wonderful should be coming up on the lady looking for her mama. I'm looking for my mama.
Excuse me, I... <gasps> oh! I... I'm sorry. I... I... No, I was it's just... okay. I didn't mean to scare you. I'm kind of lost. Lost? <laughs> she just seems disgusted that you yeah. happen to be lost. I'm looking for a Silent Hill. Is this the right way? Um, yeah. It's hard to see with this fog, but there's only the one road. You can't miss it. Thanks. But... Yes? I think he'd better stay away. Come to think of it, James just left his car like... This, double parked, uh, possibly even triple parked, with the th driver's town, door wide open. There's something wrong. Obviously, with he's it. a very trusting man. It's kind of hard to explain, but is it dangerous? Maybe. And it's not just the fog either. Okay, it's... I got it. I'll be careful. <laughs> Cut you off. I don't give a shit what you're saying. I'm, I'm going lying. anyway. No, I believe you. It's just, I guess I really don't care. If it's dangerous or not, I'm going to town either way. But why? I'm looking for someone. I also chose the original voices because I have a Who very, very soft spot for someone the PlayStation 2 version, so. Very important to me. I don't mind the new voices. I do I mean, anything everything's like in HD, it's only HD quality, but. Like I said, I have a soft spot for the. I'm looking for my mama. The original I, PS2 I mean voices. My it's been so long since I've seen her. I thought my father and brother were here, but I can't find them either. I'm sorry. It's not no, your problem. I, I hope you find them. Yeah, you too. Right about here ish. There it is. All right, back on the path to Silent Hill. When you think about what she just said, she said uh, that there's only one road into Silent Hill. Um, legitimately, the only road into Silent Hill, you have to pass through a cemetery, and there isn't a road like a vehicle road that goes to it, but there's vehicles parked on the other side. So, <laughs> I'm not exactly sure how you drive into Silent Hill, or else you just park outside the cemetery and then walk through, but that wouldn't make sense if you're trying to leave the town. Uh, yeah, it's confusing. I don't really understand it, but here we are on the road to Silent Hill. On the road again. I just can't wait to get on the road again. Okay, now we're finally coming towards the town itself. <laughs> We're getting there. We're getting there. <laughs> I always loved how awkward James's run was. Like he had these weird, like floppy feet, these huge boots. Seems to me like Silent Hill is like a farming community or something like that, because there's always these little like pastures and with with shitty rundown shacks. Like I, I'm not sure exactly where Silent Hill is meant to be. Anyway, 
We're actually on the streets of Silent Hill right now. And I've uh, been running around Silent Hill quite a bit, so I know how to get through the first first little while quite quickly, so I'm going to be doing that as, as fast as I possibly can. In that first little area, if you turn right off to the left, you can hit a uh, first aid kit, so that's exactly what I did there. So now, off we go chasing the... Uh, I don't exactly know what they're called. Um, I don't know what the enemies of Silent Hill are called now, actually. Um, I know that there's Pyramid Head slash Red Pyramid, but other than that, I don't know the names of them. I want to say Lurker, but that, that, that doesn't seem right. I think that's something from Zelda, is it not? Anyway. Let's hit the first destination. Now, I always go in here and pick up my... Um, oh, come on, go in there. <clears throat> I always come in here and pick up the uh, two health drinks, but I don't save at it because I know exactly where the next save is, so... I'm not too concerned about that. Oh, come on. There we go. Plus, there's nothing that really happens within this first, first little while that um, is really worth saving for. So I'm just going to run through. Um, like this first little area here. This first enemy is one or two hits anyway, so... It's like, how, how could you not notice that you're so distracted by this radio making funny noises that there's a monster in the background that you didn't even notice? See if I can do this in one shot. Yeah, take it, take it. Uh, I don't know. Oh, okay, yeah, it's dead. Is it dead? <laughs> I love how he just pokes it, dude. What the hell is it? The hell is it's it? Not human. Mm, excuse me. Oh yeah. <laughs> Well, yeah, I forgot I picked up this thing before I killed this creature. This thing broken? How could you kill me? James. What? That's spoilers, but I mean, they spoil the game, like, right off the stop. I better take no, it anyway. Stop. Right off the me. start. I guess it's kind of always obvious um, after Silent Hill 2, you know, it's, well, not obvious, obvious, but it's kind of an interesting way that they always make it seem like whoever the, the person is, you know, the protagonist is, is searching for is usually dead, or um, like in Silent Hill 3, you're playing, I can't remember her name, but you play as her and, oops, she is like this. I don't know whether it's like a Satan worshiping, worshiping cult, but she's like this band of Satan, or whatever. But they always bring you back into the town for reasons where you're like, um, reasons for people being dead, or uh, like in Silent Hill Origins. That one is you're being brought into town because you yourself are dead. I think I went down the wrong alley, but I, it's always tough to, <laughs> to figure out exactly what's happening in Silent Hill, but oh, where in the hell am I going here? 
Oh, this might be the bar. So I'm gonna take a look. Oh yeah. <laughs> Just gonna take a look at the map real quick. And if I go this way. This is like uh, I didn't need to do this, but oops. Cause this no, oh, that's the food store. Um, right on this corner is Neely's Bar, and this is kind of where you, uh, he's looking at something. Oh. <laughs> uh, if you go to Neely's Bar, there's a map in, like, a, a caravan of some kind, and if you go into Neely's, this is it here, um, it shows exactly where you have to go, and I can't get in that door. I'm kind of bumbling around. Oh, okay, here we go. No? Where in the hell do you go? There's a way in. Ah, here it is. Anyway, it gives you um, markings on the map, and it tells you where the, the blocked-off areas are here. And you just copy it onto your own map. Yeah. So all I have to do is just run straight up. Yeah, it's pretty much just saying, hey, go to that place and then go to the apartment building so but here's the famous line well one of them Let's see if i can look at it there it is there was a hole here it's gone now yes that hole was probably searched by james arm james's arm he likes to search things with his likes to search holes with his arm there was a hole here I searched it. Searched it thoroughly. That hole. Alright. So, off to Martin Street Alley. And actually, uh, in the PS2 version, it's quite difficult to read the uh, street signs, and thankfully in this one they, they made it loud and clear exactly where you're headed to, so... Uh, you can just read the street signs and know exactly where you're going. And I hear a freaking cockroach. I hate those things. And I know that there's that. <clears throat> and I'll just run past him just so you know. Oh, frame rate drop. Yep, great. Thank you. And then this guy comes flying out of there. Bat out of hell. And all we have to do is just run past him because he just skitters around like that. He doesn't do anything. Ah, oh, God. There we go. And now we're headed to the Woodside Apartments. I believe it's Woodside. I guess I didn't check the map, but... There is a little... Little uh, indent here where there's an entrance way to a shop, but it's filled with all sorts of goodies. So we're gonna go into here first, pick them up. You get a first aid kit, and I believe it's 20 handgun bullets, um, depending on what difficulty you play. I believe there's also a yeah. Oh god, <laughs> he was right on my tail. <laughs> but um, yeah, I think it depends on what difficulty or action level you're playing. I'm playing on easy because I mean. I'm not, I've played through this game on every difficulty and all that, and I'm just playing it for the sake of playing it, so. Here we are at the Woodside Apartments, and I'm going to stop this first episode here, so we'll catch you in the next one.